The battlefield in southeast Ukraine. Army volunteers pushing forward, trying to regain what they see as their national territory. The fighting is hard, with casualties mounting on both sides. The other war is far from the Donbas. Overnight, another building is bombed, this time in Kharkiv. They hit civilian targets. There were no military there. There's nothing here connected with the military. From what we understand, one person has been wounded. In Russia, a building that houses a government's department was hit by another drone, the latest in a series of attacks that's targeted Russia and Russian-controlled territory. In a rare public appearance, Valery Gerasimov, Russia's armed forces chief of the general staff, has visited Russian troops inside Ukraine. He's said to have met soldiers at a command center in the Saporizhia region. Gerasimov was criticized for many months by Wagner mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin and several Russian military bloggers over Russia's failings in this conflict. Ukraine's army are developing their use of drones. They've been used without identification as well as by their regular army units in the field. Any movement to the right or left significantly changes how your drone flies, especially as the enemy has a highly developed electronic warfare system and it causes a lot of inconvenience. You can't work from the same position many times because the enemy reacts to it and jams our drones. So we're constantly looking for new targets and fly the drones from different positions. Even in war zones, people want respite. Ukrainians with a limited choice of destinations are holidaying where they can. The coast and rivers are too dangerous to visit. But at this estuary, near Mykolaiv, it's the natural habitat that's now under threat by people this summer trying to forget the war. The main problem is in the tourists themselves, but their cars and tents. They're placed in a chaotic way. The tourists don't know where it's all right to leave a car and where it is not, so they park wherever they want. That's how plants and the vegetation are being destroyed, and the noise affects the birds nesting here. People want to relax when and where they can, while camping while their country is at war. As well as rebuilding towns and cities, Ukraine's natural environment will also need more protection the longer the conflict continues. Yolo Abdavid, CTTN.